you know, we're going to pull the diesel injector out of the head and in its place we're going to put this spark plug assembly. This is the long reach plug made into a little holder like this which is compatible with the fuel injector. In order to fire this we're going to combine this steam age technology with modern microelectronics. We're going to put a magnet at the top dead center on the oh, flywheel. All of them. We're going to use a Hall effect sensor to get a timing pulse from that. We're going to feed that into a, a little microcontroller called an Arduino and we're going to write some code to determine the optimum timing to fire the spark plug at the right time for the optimum detonation of the wood gas. And um, uh, hopefully uh, by the end of tomorrow night we'll, we'll have this thing running. Now, uh, there's a very nice gentleman who sent me this wood gas carb. This, uh, Andy? Andy Schofield, yeah. He makes these for, um, uh, for larger engines. Uh, this allows you to meter the air in here and you've also got like a, a gate valve there that you can meter the amount of gas. So we're going to bolt this on the side of the Lister cylinder head and we've got a basic carburetor to, uh, to allow us to control the, the running of this engine. Um, so uh, we've had a few problems getting hold of gaskets um, so the first task we have to do is make a new head gasket for this out of copper sheet. So uh, we're going to be doing that today. Uh, we will probably run this later today on diesel just to prove that it works and then we'll proceed with the conversion. So uh, that's, uh, that's what we're going to try and achieve this weekend. Any questions? Is All Power Labs working with uh, this, uh, once you get the magnet, the Arduino, all that is going to be a component that's going to be available? We will make that open source, yeah. Sure. yeah. That, that'll be on YouTube. <laughs> and, and then just to clarify, you, you can't import that engine from India into the U.S. Okay, with the EPA, you can, right? You, yeah, you can import it if you've knocked it down into component into parts. parts. Kit right. form. Just right. pull the injector out, you know? Oh, yeah, right. right. Yeah. And then argue with the border guards. Right. It's an antique. Yeah. How many kilowatts can you push with this six horsepower? Okay, the rule of thumb is that you divide your horsepower by two to give you your electrical kilowatts. So a three kilowatt three, three generator head. Yeah, but because this is a water-cooled engine, you also have water coming out of this at about 180 Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have one of these in my shed in my back garden, and I run my home heating off the waste heat from the the coolant, the water coolant, and I've also got a tubular heat exchanger on the exhaust, and I can get about six kilowatts of heat out of it, which is sufficient for my thousand square foot home. Website. Yeah. Website. Address. <laughs> <laughs> uh, power cubes. Just look me up. Ken Boke. You'll find me on Google. And the GEC site. Yeah. What's the, what's the GEC site address? <laughs> Allpowerlabs.com. There you go. Power. Google yeah. on GEC. <laughs> www.paracubes.com backslash listers underscore 12 dot html. <laughs> we'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> Very well.